All right, guys. So I know I've been asked about uh, making a video of the uh, the Noco uh, plug system for running the engine block heater and the other heaters I've got on this truck. So just want to go over this real quick with you. Um, this is the dual outlet. The normal one they sell is a single, but they do have a dual plug version, which is what this is. Uh, just you know, mount your holes or you know, cut the cut the hole. It's a two inch uh, drill bit to uh, to cut the hole out with, and then uh, those are M4 bolts that I used. It didn't come with any bolts, so kind of use my own there. Uh, and, then, and then nuts and stuff on the back, washers and whatnot. And then that's rooted up to in here. Comes through the. I'm gonna get the focus. To, there we go. Uh, new camera, so <laughs> figuring this out. But you can see where the plugs come in right there. And then I've got them uh, zip tied to the um, to the little battery holder bracket just to make sure that that's. Uh, that, uh, that they don't fall down into the tire area because obviously I've had to make modifications for the tires on this truck be so big uh, but both heaters that I've got right now on here one of them is the engine block heater plug which is down there um, again trying to get this to focus right uh, way down there it's that plug-in block heater kit uh, Mopar and a bunch of other ones sell it that plug into that and I think the cord was like four and a half five feet long or something i've just got it zipped up right now engine bay's a mess i need to kind of clean stuff up um some of the some of the paints come off of the this pipe here because it's gotten so warm so gotta gotta work on that um anyway uh and then i've got the uh a heater for the uh for the transmission pan that's plugged in as well so that's uh that's this other one i have a battery charger a noco brand battery charger on the other side but the cords aren't long enough so i'm not dealing with it right now but i will extend it over and then uh probably put some kind of weatherproof three-way so that i can do all three together the the battery charger is just a little two amp uh maintainer basically uh but it'll desulfate and everything else on the battery so if i've got the truck sitting for a while and not using it it'll just keep that uh, topped off as far as the uh, system controller for everything this is the power badger um, it is, they call it the engine heater control system um, try to get it to where the there we go uh, this is pretty nice um, sucker plugs into regular outlet it has a temperature probe for outside temperature on it and then uh, you set the you set the time and date or, or you don't set the date but you set the time uh, when you power this thing up and then you set when the ready time is which is when you want it to wake up so like right now uh, it's 427 if I go to so I'm gonna set it for Fahrenheit and then I want it 630 a.m. is when I'm gonna start the truck or be out here uh, to get to it so I want it to be ready by then and then if I'm not there at 630 I want it to have a four hour maintain so it'll continue to power the heater uh, on and off and for four hours and then after that it goes it'll just stop uh, stop running the heater so if I just decide not to go anywhere that day it will uh, it'll stop doing that then you got other modes you can just directly control and turn it on the heater straight on with the mode button um, or you can tell it that you want it to go through the uh, you want it to do just the maintain only and just uh, full, you know, full blast power it. This is a weather resistant box. It's got a battery inside for uh, for remembering your settings when you unplug it. Um, and it's supposed to be mounted. It can be mounted in the truck, like engine bay. The problem is then when it gets warm, it's going to take a while for the sensor to to uh, to get the temperature outside. So. Uh, I've heard it suggested that you might want to mount it like inside or behind the bumper or something where it's getting colder outside air. Um, and then I've heard some say, well, then put it inside the engine compartment and by the time it gets around to 2 or 3 o'clock when it starts firing up, it will, uh, it'll be cold enough in there to know. So, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. But either way, it, uh, it just comes right around and plugs in right there. So, I'm just going to reach around here and pop this cover off and you can see the plug 
and I just plug it in and then over here I just have to finish turning it on so yes yeah, there we go and so it's in that mode now it's it's 40 degrees outside and it's gonna be ready to go I don't have to touch it and it has all these algorithms all this other stuff it'll it's supposed to come on itself and start heating the heating the uh, the engine and the transmission up um, early and the, the benefit with this again is that it's not running all night just constant and it'll even track there's a menu in here it'll show you how many hours it uh, it saved you as far as power goes uh, you know versus having it just plugged in when you go to bed or or getting up at five o'clock in the morning whatever to plug it in and whatnot um, this will tell you how much energy you saved by using it versus uh, regular plug-in so uh, then I have it put running to it's really neat uh, 10 gauge heavy duty cord that's lit so I could see it at night or I could see it out the window just to make sure the system's running and then it's just running inside the garage so that's uh, that's really it for the most part how this uh, this thing works um, you know I've got all of the links in the uh, in the Facebook pages for all the stuff I've used or whatnot and uh, if I make this a YouTube video I'll put all the links in there as well but uh, just showing you guys uh, how this works. Uh, take care. See you next time.